Now we're getting out and about with our mobile clinic. Today, we're at a theme park to help solve your medical mysteries. If you're anxious about an ailment or curious about a condition, then the Ouchmobile is the place for you. That is incredible. Chris is preparing the clinic ready for his first patient. And San is out in the park to answer your burning questions. At the clinic, Chris is open for business. Next patient, please. First in is nine-year-old Shoma with a question about some frightful findings on his feet. I've got a bunch of verrucas on my foot that won't go away. Well, what have you got to say about this, Chris? This sounds like a rare case of I've got a bunch of verrucas on my foot and they won't go away itis. And breathe. Now let's have a look. Yeah, one, two, three. A little cluster of them here. Now that's the big daddy veruca there. And more up here. That's an impressive nine verrucas on one foot. How do you get verrucas? So verrucas are viruses, so you get them from walking around where other people with verrucas have walked. So the virus has got quite a cool name. Do you want to know what it is? Yeah. It's called the human papilloma virus. Can you say that? The human papilloma virus. Nice one, Shoma. The virus causes your skin to grow in an uncontrollable way, leading to these lumps. But the good news is they often go away on their own. The important thing if you have a verruca is to not spread it too much to other people. So when you go swimming, you've got to wear a Veruca sock. When you play PE, you've got to keep your shoes on. And don't worry if you have Verucas, they'll probably soon disappear by themselves. Away from the clinic, Zand is out and about in the park. Let's see if there are any medical mysteries or maybe people have got some questions for me. Why does your heart beat fast on roller coasters? When you're frightened, your body releases a hormone called adrenaline and that makes your heart beat faster because your body thinks it might have to run away. If a tiger attacked you, you get a load of adrenaline and then your heart beat faster and you'd be able to run away faster. That's what your body's doing, it's preparing to run away, even though you're strapped into a roller coaster. Yes, look what I did today. Oh no, that's terrible, what happened? Well, I was going on the ride and I hit my leg on the side of the ride. Oh, was it painful? Yeah. So what happens when you get a bruise is you break the blood vessels under your skin. You've actually, what you're seeing there is bleeding under the skin. So all that stuff that looks black is actually red blood and it will gradually change colour as it heals. Back at the Ouchmobile, there's a new case in the waiting room. Hi, Dr Chris. It's 10-year-old Mohammed, and he's got something incredible to show us. Mohammed, why have you come to the Ouchmobile today? I can fold my ear and stick it in this hole here. You fold your ear in what? Diagnose this, Chris. So this sounds like a very rare case of I can fold my ear up and stick it in this hole here, itis. I can't wait to see it. Wow! That is the most bendy ear I've ever seen. OK, Mohammed, give, give it a little wiggle and make it pop out. <laughs> well, let's see that again. How come I can do that with my ear? Well, inside your ear, you've got some very bendy stuff called cartilage, and it's the same stuff that's in your nose. So I don't think there's anything wrong with your cartilage. It's just nice and soft and you've got bendy ears. Job done for today. Clinic closed. Ouch. Your body is amazing, but sometimes it needs fixing. In some cases, the only way to do this is with an operation. Did you know that 27,000 operations happen in the UK every day? Now, some of these are minor and happen in clinics or in accident and emergency. But for bigger operations, you have to go to surgery. And that's where I am today. In the theatre at Alderhey, there are surgeons, nurses, but who's this person? That's the anaesthetist. It's his job to make sure you don't feel a thing during an operation. And they're a vital part of the team in any operating theatre because they put you into a special kind of sleep that means you don't feel any pain and you don't remember anything at all. So what is an anaesthetic and how does it work? There are two types of anaesthetic, a local and a general. A local anaesthetic numbs just the injured area of your body so that the pain signals sent to the brain get blocked. You might have had one of these when you've had a filling at the dentist or a couple of stitches. And there's a general anaesthetic, like Mini Chris had earlier when he cut his hand. This is a combination of medicines which you have as an injection or as a gas that you inhale, and it makes you temporarily unconscious. This is anaesthetist Dr Will Gauntlet. He's going to give 11-year-old Kieran a general anaesthetic for his ear operation. 
So, when was the last time you had anything to eat? Well, before I got this morning. When we go off to sleep, we want you to have a nice empty tummy because the last thing we want is any like burgers and chips to come back up and make a reappearance when you're asleep. It's a good job Kieran hasn't eaten anything because with a general anaesthetic, your body doesn't function normally and a full stomach might mean food gets stuck in your throat. Kieran's given an injection and anaesthetic gas to send him to sleep. It takes him about two minutes to be fully anaesthetised. Now, Dad, he's probably ready for an embarrassing kiss now. <laughs> Don't make it a sloppy one, Dad. And you've got special plasters to keep his eyes closed. And we put some tape over the eyes so that if any dust does land on them, that it won't risk scratching the eye while he's asleep. We're all ready now, I think, Terry. The operation can begin, but the anaesthetist's work isn't over yet. Now Will's job is to keep Kieran safe while he's in the operation, making sure he's getting lots of oxygen into his lungs, but also that he doesn't wake up. Dr Will has this amazing machine to help him give Kieran more anaesthetic during the operation if needed. How does it work? We've got our anaesthetic agents kept up here. We have pipes at the back here with oxygen. And as it goes through the machine, it will pick up like a whiff of that anaesthetic gas and then out through the pipes off to Kieran. What then is this pump thing? Is that breathing for him? So this is a ventilator, and every time Kieran takes a breath, the machine gives him a little extra air just to make up for the fact that under anaesthetic, his breathing's not quite as strong as it is uh, when he's awake. With the operation over, it's not long before Kieran is back on the ward. Thanks to the awesome anaesthetic, he has no memory of the surgery. Do you remember anyone putting anything in your ears? No. And did any of it hurt? No. So that's pretty good, isn't it? And there's one surefire way of finding out if Kieran is better. So what's your plan for dinner? Um, bacon and chips. <laughs> so if you ever need an operation like Kieran did, then you don't need to worry about it being painful, all thanks to the amazing anaesthetists and their general anaesthetics.